हेलो गाइस इन लास्ट क्लास यू लर्न हाउ टू मेक एन एलईडी ऑन एंड ऑफ यूजिंग अर्डिनो सो दिस वीडियो विल शो यू हाउ टू मेक एन एलईडी ब्लिंक फर्स्ट सिलेक्ट अर्डिनो फ्रॉम कंपोनेंट लिस्ट नाउ जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इट एंड प्लेस इट ओवर हियर वी कैन नेम इट एज अर्डिनो यूनो Now we need an LED, so drag and drop an LED from component list. You can name it as LED one. So you know that LED has two terminals, anode and cathode. I'm connecting the anode to D two of Arduino and a cathode to D three of Arduino. Let's do the coding to make this LED on. Click on code. You can see some blocks here. Just remove that. Now drag and drop the block set pin. We need a two blocks of that. So just select one more. Anode is connected to D two. That is second pin of Arduino. and we should make that high and cathode is connected to 3 so that should be low so just click on it and make it 3 and set the pin to low click on start simulation you can see our led is on To make it off, we can make both the pins low or high. First, let us make it low. So make the two pins low. Click on Start Simulation. Our LED is off. Next, let's try making two pins high. So make these two. Pins high. So click on Start Simulation. You can see our LED is still off. Now let's make the pin too low. You know that a pin too must be high as it is connected with the anode. So we can make pin too low and pin three high. Click on Start Simulation. You can see our LED is still off. So now you know. How to turn on and turn off an LED? Can you see this? This LED is blinking. It is on for some seconds and going off for some seconds, and it continues. Now let us learn how to program LED blinking. For that, just click on code. You can see the programming block to turn on an LED here. Now we need blocks to turn off. So select two more blocks of set pins. You can right click on that and simply duplicate or you can drag and drop the blocks. So get the block set pin. We need two blocks of that. Now make the pins 2 and 3. 2 should be high and 3 should be low to make the LED on. as we are making this off we can make the two pins high now click on start simulation you can see there is no difference as it is not blinking so let's find a solution for that So in between these two conditions that is turn on condition and turn off condition we can apply a delay for that a click on control and choose the block wait 1 second and place it here now place these two blocks here so 
we place the block weight one second in between on condition and off condition now click on start simulation we can see our led is on but it is not turning off so it is on and not turning off we need to find solution for that also we need to place the same block that is wait one second block after led turn off condition so place it over here now click on start simulation and you will see our led will blink click on start simulation you can see our led is on for some seconds and then got turned off Let's choose two more LEDs. So drag and drop one LED here. Name it as LED two. Change the color to green. Now connect anode to D six and cathode to D seven. So connecting the anode to D six. Connecting cathode to D7. Now select the third LED. Place it over here. Name it as LED three. Now change the color to blue. Here also connect the anode and cathode. I'm connecting anode. to d9 and cathode to d10 now we are going to make a pattern of this led blinking we have connected leds to d2 d3 d6 d7 and d9 d10 here to make these leds on d2 d6 and d9 must be high and d3 d7 and d10 must be low let's do the chord concord you can see some blocks here so we can remove these blocks we have to do the program to make red led on so we already have the program to make the red led on so let's program to make a green and blue on so after this red led on we just need to wait for 1 second then just off red led and make the green led on then after that wait for 1 second then green led will be off and blue led will on and we should continue this pattern so first of all we can select this wait 1 second block place it over here Now to make this green LED on, we should make D6 high and D7 low. At the same time, we need to make this red LED off also. So we can make both the pins low. So we can make the anode that is D2 low. So click on output and choose set pin block and make the pin to two. we can make it low so now we made red led off condition now to turn on this green led we need two set pin blocks choose that and place it over here so here d6 must must be high and d7 is low so make it to 6 that must be high now this to 7 here it must be low attach the block wait 1 second here click on start simulation you can see red led is on then it got off and our green led got on 
you can see this red led is continuously blinking so we need the pattern our pattern is not perfect so we can do next steps to make the pattern perfect so click on output and choose the block set pin change the pin to 6 and make it low so to make the green led off we need to make the sixth pin low now to make this blue led on we need two more blocks of set pin here d9 must be high and d10 must be low so choose two more set blocks make it 9 choose one more block of set pin and make it 10 set that pin to low then go to controls and choose the weight one second block now we should make this blue led off for that choose set pin Before that, let's check what happened. So click on start simulation and check the activity. So you can see the blue LED is on. It is not getting off. So we need to make that off. For that, we need the set pin block. So go to output and choose a set pin block. Make the pin 9. So change it to 9. And set it to low to make that blue LED off. Attach wait one second block at last. Click on start simulation. You can see the perfect pattern of these three LEDs. So first red LED will on, then it will turn off, then green LED on, it will turn off. Finally blue LED will on. So we got the perfect pattern of LED blinking. Finally, make this three LEDs on. For that, we need a three blocks of set pin. So choose set pin from output. So we need to set second pin, sixth pin and ninth pin. So make the pins a 2, 6 and 9. So we should set these three pins high. And we should attach this weight one second block. Click on start simulation. Yes. So you can see the activity. So guys, you can make patterns of LED blinkings using more number of LEDs. So I hope you like this video and we will meet again in next session with another interesting Tinkercad project. Till then, bye!